poprzednim odcinku. A ty tam wrzucasz ja pier... I tak to jedzie dalej. Just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. O, oh, okej. Okay. To sprawdźmy skrzynkę. Wydaje mi się, że ciężko mi będzie troszkę hmm, przywiązać się do wszystkich postaci, zwłaszcza, że w jednym epizodzie od razu mamy taki rozstrzał, że hej, no ale będziemy próbować. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Hmm. Na chwili obecny ojciec już nie żyje, szkoda. O, rany. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. A co to jest magnes na lodówkę? It once belonged to Lady Elena. Ash has sent me this coin to remember him. Ciekawe, kiedy w końcu poznamy brata. Kogoś mi przypomina ta postać. Nie jestem jednak pewien kogo. Hmm. Co my tu mamy? Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. Tyle prezentów, a tyle rodzeństwa już nie żyje. I hope to see them all someday. O, rany. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Hmm. O, list od matki. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Oh, kurde. Kto puka? O tej porze, może Lady Marjorie? Dzień dobry. One moment. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. Come in. Prawdopodobnie będzie sprzątał, a to mi nie przeszkadza. Choć jednak King's Landing w serialu nauczyło nas, że nikomu nie wolno ufać, więc będę trzymał raczej gębę na kłódkę. Begging your pardon, milady, but you are right. If you don't mind my asking. You seem rather upset. I'm fine, thank you. Of course, my lady. Hmm. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? Synek, to chyba nie twój biznes, wiesz? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. It's widely known. That I work for Lady Marjorie. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei. Hmm. Powinniśmy się przymować słowami kogokolwiek. They appear to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but. Why are you telling me this? I heard them arguing about House Forrester and House Forrester. Po pierwsze podsłuchiwał to niedobrze, ale każdy to robi w King's Landing. I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. Chyba, że to jeden z dzieciaków, które pracują dla Warysa. 
A Varys to równy facet. Mimo, że odcięli mu jaja, to świetna postać. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. Aha, na dywanik, tak? From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. My family wrote me, my lady. I don't doubt they must be overcome with grief. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort, for what I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Hmm. Przy Cersei to będzie raczej trudne. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. Czy nawet niewykonalne. Bardzo mi się nie podoba ta postać, ta tej dziewczyny, która tutaj jest. Nie ufam jej. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Hmm. Dzięki. Good luck. Mrugnęła, jak ktoś mruga, znaczy, że kłamie. <laughs> o, rany. Tutaj nie wolno nikomu ufać. Po prostu nie wolno. O, Tyrion! Tam jest Tyrion. Hmm. Yes, I can. Tyrion to równy gość. Ah, Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion, your grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Co właściwie Tyrion tu robi, skoro to już jest po Czerwonym Weselu? A w sumie Tywin jest teraz w wieży chyba, więc... Your grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Joffrey is the one true king, Your Grace. Hmm. And yet... For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. Yeah, rozegrajmy to rozsądnie. They were the wardens of the North. We all served at the pleasure of the king. Clever girl. Dzięki, Tyrion. Perhaps too clever for her own good. The girl did name Joffrey as the one true king. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? He is the Warden of the North, Your Grace. He is. And I the Queen Regent and Tyrion the Master of Coin. 
The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions while in fact saying nothing at all. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. To our mutual benefit, Your Grace. And at the pleasure of your king. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. I won't dishonor myself, Your Grace. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. Kto wie co robi ona przerwie na lunch, nie? It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? Cholera. Nie mnie oceniać. I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves, pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts? You are a girl from the north here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she would. Let the girl answer the question. Go on. Oh, cholera! I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. <laughs> My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants, which is not very encouraging. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Cholera, nie wiem czy to dobrze rozegrałem. Niech to szlak. A, cześć Tyrion, co tam? Ładna pogoda, nie? I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't dress Drew's Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. No doubt Lady Marjorie will forgive you. Eventually. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the Crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you. 
and your house. Are you willing to risk that? Chyba nie. It may be far too dangerous. Nie mnie decydować. In fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion, but it's a risk I cannot afford. I admire your discretion. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Ah, Tyrion jak zawsze w porządku. Jednak nie mnie jest za bardzo decydować o tym, co się stanie z drewnem. Cholera, no. Ciężka sprawa, jak diabli. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. But at least it's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, <laughs> what? It's true. And over in Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. Which I doubt is Dornish for wife. He is quite handsome. And quite passionate. From what I've heard. Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him, and he's always treated Lady Marjorie well, which is more than you can say for his mother. I don't want to be queen, no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen, you northerners. You'd make a perfect scepter. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's. See, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Well? I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once I know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. Your words to Cersei were brave. But I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. 
Chyba nie mogę tego zrobić. Sorry. I prefer to speak with you alone. Go on. Ask. I received a letter from my family. I fear my family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. But if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown... Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. That is no small request, especially now. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks, and now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? Joffrey will not look favorably on such a request. It is that dire, my lady. I fear for my family's safety. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. Zawsze wiedziałem, że Marjorie jest super. U, rany. To było trudne, znaczy martwiłem się, że się nie uda, ale... A, na szczęście los był po naszej stronie. Los tam sprzyja. Ciekawe, jak będzie z Garetem. Komuś robił krzywdę, nie wiem, czy powinniśmy to sprawdzać. Czy to jest? Że tam był Bowen? Jezu. Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise. <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the Warden of the North. He does now. Co mam właściwie zrobić? Oj. Sorry. Oj. Oj, niedobrze. Ja pierdzielę. Um, I know I heard something. Nie mogę uciekać. Jak ucieknę, to mnie zauważą. Może jest szansa, że tego nie zrobią. Shit. Ah. Never mind. Bingo. We've wasted enough time already. Nie wiem, czy chcę to robić. Pamiętacie, co mówi o jego chorągwi? Widnieje na niej oskurowany człowiek. Puśćcie na prawo. O, rany. 
No dobra. Ciekawość zabiła kota. Lord Ethan, as I was saying, you are young, and there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. No to trzeba ich utwierdzić w przekonaniu, że się nadaje. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise. And courageous in battle. Why are you telling me this? To help you rule, Lord Ethan. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Lord Ethan, Mister. Who is this man? This Craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed. We all fucking know it. Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Gówniany argument. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks truth. I've a family to feed. They're not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone! Go. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. We are in this together. You say that. But it won't be you who's starving come winter. You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their Lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. I will decide. Send him to the wall. Shake his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. I don't know if this is a good idea. Send him to his people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen thief. Ah, niech mnie szlak. Kodam jego rodziny. He's also a father trying to help his children after we failed him. I cannot punish a man for our negligence. You're rewarding a man who has no loyalty or honor. My lord, we must speak about our gold reserves soon. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. Siostra spojrzała na mnie z zadowoleniem. To znaczy, że nadal jestem jakby jej bratem. Pisuje się, hura, tylko obawiam się, że cała reszta jest tak jakby 
wkurwione. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Maester, what do you think? Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? Disloyalty shouldn't be rewarded if others will take advantage of your mercy. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. You should have one advisor above the rest. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. I'll make the right choice as sentinel. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. A kiedy to będzie tego nie wiem. Przez chwilę myślałem, że podrabię się po tyłku, ale widzę, że nie. <laughs> Wyjąłem tylko bracelet. Okej. Okay. Uh. Wszyscy patrzą na to chętnie. Pytanie, kto to dostanie, nie wiem. Raczej bym strzelał, że Duncan, ale... Zobaczymy. Z siostrą pogadać nie mogę. To pogadam sobie z Duncanem Josephem. Cześć, Duncan Joseph. Kto oglądał Ludwiczka, ten zajarzy. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. No, wiele to my się nie dowiedzieliśmy, ale. O, rany boskie. A ty kim jesteś? Malcolm X? Jesteś biały, nie pasuje. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do. Showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him. To help the house. He said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos, but she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Mm. No dobra, rodzina jest ważna, to chodźmy. Dlaczego tak Lorda pod rękę prowadzić? Nie wypada. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. 
But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Fuck, wybrałem nie to co trzeba. Palera. You all do, but father is gone. You are the lord of this house, which is why you must be strong. You're just as capable as Asher or Roderick ever were. I know it. Chciałem wiedzieć co siostra sądzi o tym sentinelu. Fuck. I only wish you did too. You have always given me good advice. Thank you. Zależało mi na tym, żeby wiedzieć kogo siostra obsadziła by jako zwierzchnika. Fuck. Ale spieprzyłem sprawę. Niedobrze. Sir Roiland? Sword up! Swing left! Parry! Wrong! I did no dogs for old swords. A word? Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrod to the wall. He undermined your authority, and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Duncan Tuttle is a good man. Aye, a fine man. Why is he? But he has no business being sentinel. He likes to talk. But now's the time for action. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. No to się bardzo cieszę. A teraz chodźmy do tego pieprzonego majstra. Hello. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? No, w sumie to... to. What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life. Ransom or a robbery? We may pay him now, but what's to stop him from coming back again? Lord Ethan, the dangers of today outweigh the fears of tomorrow. Aha. What is this? My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. A, świetnie, już nie mogę się doczekać. To będzie... To będzie naprawdę ciężka decyzja, przesrany wieczór i na pewno nie będą zadowoleni z mojego wyboru, przynajmniej niektórzy. Ale co tam? Poszalejmy, póki jesteśmy w urzędzie. Yeah, that's the 